Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Tuesday means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and we have a pretty interesting list to check out today. So Delirium has been a deck in Standard all the way back to when it first released in Eldritch Moon. But we have a very updated take on Delirium, this time Abzan Delirium, with a build that took Matusaka 10 to a 5-0 finish in a competitive league on Magic Online. So congrats to Matusaka on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break down Abzan Delirium for or standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So, Abs and Delirium starts off like a fairly typical Delirium deck. We have kind of the Delirium All-Stars. Grim Flare, such a powerful two-drop. If it gets in just a hit or two, you kind of just take over the game with the Scry ability. It fills a graveyard and it ends up being a 4-4 for two. It's good enough that it sees play all the way back to modern. Just a very great two-drop option in a deck that cares about filling the graveyard and can turn it into a 4-4. Gnarlwood Dryad ends up being a 3-3 for just a single mana. Once you get Delirium on, which happens pretty easily, and then it also has Death Touch, which means it can take down pretty much anything short of Ulamog in the format, and then Ishkana, just great at gumming up the board, kind of provides a win condition because you can drain your opponent out with spiders, so that's kind of the typical Delirium stuff, and then of course Traversa Uvenwald is a glue that holds the deck together. You can use it in the early game just to get a land, smooth out your draws. One of the unique things about this deck, only 19 lands, 19, and it's leaning hard on Traverse and another card we'll talk about in a minute. But Traverse not only tutors up all of our big Delirium hitters we've been talking about, but stuff like Tireless Tracker, which is the other four of creature, just a great card advantage engine in the three drop slot, making clues, and the clues come into play with some of our other cards. So we have a few one ofs in the deck to tutor up with Traverse. Manglehorn, great against Marvel, kills a Heart of Curin. Just a very good option to have in the main deck, especially in a deck that can tutor it out when it needs to, and then hopefully you don't draw it in the matches against zombies or blue-red control where it doesn't do much. Noxus Gearhawk gets rid of just about anything, can stabilize you by gaining some life, and then Herald of Anguish is the card that takes advantage of the clues coming from the tireless tracker, so you can either just cast it naturally for a ton of mana in the late game, or you can get a bunch of clues with tireless tracker, use it to improvise out a Herald of Anguish, and then maybe kill a bunch of zombies and smaller creatures by sacking the clues to the Herald of Anguish to kind of wrath away your opponent's board, so not something you want in every matchup, but an interesting option when you have Traverse to tutor it up in the situations where it's good. Also attacks your opponent's hand and triggers on your end step, so unless your opponent has instant speed removal to kill it right away, you're at least going to get a discard value out of the Herald of Anguish. So the most interesting part about this deck, compared to old Delirium decks, is how it goes about turning on Delirium. So in the past, we saw Vessels of Nascency, Grapple with the Past, all these cards whose primary purpose is to fill the graveyard. Well, this build goes a completely different direction. We don't have any of those graveyard filler type cards in the deck. Instead, we're getting to Delirium in some sneaky ways. So Renegade Map is the other reason why the deck can play only 19 lands. We have the four Traverse of Uvenwalds and the four Renegade Maps. So in some sense, as long as we have at least one land to cast those cards, we actually have 27 lands in the deck, but those cards also help turn on Delirium. Renegade Map is an artifact that's really easy to get in the graveyard for Delirium. Descenders Deliverance, great against Marvel, killing it before it gets a second activation, Heart of Kirin's, plus in bad matchups you can just cycle it away to get another card in your graveyard. Cast out an enchantment, gets rid of anything all the way up to Ulamog, and you can cycle it to get it in the graveyard. So instead of playing spells and cluttering up our decks with these sort of do-nothings, a card like Vessel of Nascency, while it digs you a little deeper, maybe finds you some action, in reality you're kind of just trading mana to get cards in your graveyard, and this deck you don't really have that much of a cost because you can just cycle these cards away and they're all cards that you don't mind having in your deck anyway because they're pretty powerful at least in specific matchups. The other way the deck gets on Delirium is, well, Liliana the Last Hope, the Planeswalker of the deck, 
can mill cards into the graveyard, provides a backup win condition by ticking up and then creating a unbeatable amount of zombies. But apart from Liliana and the Cyclers, we have cheap spells like Fatal Push. You want to cast that early in the game anyway, kill something, and it gets an instant in the graveyard. Transgress can strip an Aetherworks Marvel out of your opponent's hand, sorcery in the graveyard, and so forth. So it's really interesting that this is a Delirium deck that isn't is focused on the graveyard is some of the delirium decks we've seen in the past and as a result it gets to play more real cards and less graveyard fillers that really aren't that great as far as the mana base we have some lands that help us turn on delirium evolving wild of course we can sacrifice getting it in the graveyard and fixing our mana and a scattered groves which we can cycle away otherwise a bunch of fast lands concealed courtyard and blooming marsh and some basic lands to tutor up with our traverse uvenwald and renegade maps like i said only 19 lands so super light but it's kind of like 27 when you consider the eight one mana ways we have to find a land in the sideboard we have a bunch more removal grasp of darkness never to return to fight against planeswalkers mangle horns for etherworks marvel matchups for heart of cure matchups. Scrappy of Scrounger and Eternal Scourge give the deck a bunch of recursive threats that just keep coming back and are so hard for some control decks to deal with. Yes, they can get Magma Sprayed, but still, you have these recursive threats that just keep coming back, keep beating down, and kind of can play the attrition game. And then, for control matchups, Transgress the Mind gives us some more discard, and Soren Grim Nemesis is another great way to close out the game. So that is Abzan Delirium for Amoncat Standard, and that's our instant deck deck for today day so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here